So the question is, right now, we have open source happening across many, many industries. Yeah. So there's a mystery already. Why everywhere? Where everywhere at once? Why startups and established companies, finance and physics and electrical industries, all these traditional slow adopters are adopting fast. Yeah. All these traditional fast adopters are do adopting no faster. Yeah. Any argument you make almost that is a threshold, mm -hmm. cost, value, things yeah. like that, would have somebody adopting far before everybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing big data right now. Okay. So there's something wrong. Okay. Our, our mental models are wrong. Okay. And I've been thinking about that. And if you draw a graph, first you have to draw a graph, otherwise you don't understand anything, right? And the it's all graph. about data visualization. Yeah, visualization here. Low-tech visualization. If we make size be uh, the horizontal axis, this is small, this is big. And we make value or cost be the vertical axis. So unless you're really an idiot, you look at the most valuable byte first. And so the value goes up initially very steeply. Mm -hmm. But eventually you run out of most valuable bytes, and so it goes up more and more slowly. Yeah. This is just always true. It yeah. goes up fast and then it goes up slow. Yeah. It never stops going up because yeah. hey, you always learn something. Yeah. Uh, okay. And now traditionally, cost does just the opposite. You buy one machine, so you have a non zero, very small price. Yeah. And it's flat for a little while. You just use yeah. more of that machine. But then the cost of coordination in traditional systems right. goes up like that. Right. Where's the optimum? The optimum is where the slope of these two things is the same. So the, the net value looks like this. Yeah. And because this gets steeper so fast, and because this gets flatter so fast, right. this corner here is the edge of the universe. Right. We cannot For expand traditional systems. the traditional systems. Yeah. And it is not a factor of their cost. Right. It is a factor of the shape. Mm -hmm. Big data systems change that. They scale linearly. Right. And that means that the net value does this. And eventually, it looks like that. Mm -hmm. And this point of the optimum, which is kind of where a bubble would sit, goes out by suddenly four orders of magnitude, and we escape the corner. Right. All of computer science has been going up this thing, right. going toward the corner. Scalable then, big data computing allows us to escape the corner. Right. It's a shape thing. It's a change of shape that's really driving this, not just cost. Mm -hmm. And that, in many ways, is the most exciting thing I've seen in a long time about big data because it explains why we are doing what we're doing. And it explains how we must do things in the future. So the old idea was say people talk about denormalization. Mm -hmm. They talk about flexible schemas. Why? Because if you don't have a flexible schema, you have accelerating costs. Right. If you ever change your schema, exactly, it's quadratic. Yeah. And it's game over. Yeah. So you have to have a flexible schema to stay linear. You have to be linear to experience this higher value and higher optimum value. That's cool. I mean, I mean, physics is cool. And we never, <laughs> never get really cool, simple explanations yeah. of what's happening in computing. And this is one of them. And I think that's really why everybody's doing it right now. And I think they're right. I think they, they smell something has changed. Right. So they're, they're jumping on this. So anyway, that's what I think is so damned exciting. Great. Well, Ted... Thank you very much for stopping by and for the drinks. Hey, and thank you. See you soon. I always like an excuse to drink a good Northern English ale. Cheers. <laughs>